Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Hey, it's your boy Bubba Doug. We're here with Boss Talk 101, one of the biggest podcasts, biggest radios you, you ever want to hear in the world. Boss Talk 101. Make sure you go and check them out. Got a special guest in there today, y'all. He don't need no introduction, man. He frequent the show. He's a comedian. One of the best comedians that I ever seen do stand-up, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go and take that, take that stance today, man. My guy, and he humble as hell. If it were me, nigga, I would never be humble. I'd be acting a damn fool continuously, man. My boy Bubba Dub is in the building. What's up, everybody? Man, how you doing, man? Great. I'm great, bro. Man, hey, man. Say, man, you, hey, man, you been killing it, man. Last time I, I had you on here, we had Chinez Myron. Shout out Chinez Myron. Thanks. What's up, Myron? And man, and, and, and you know, that day I said, man, you know, I couldn't wait to get you back over here. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to get the nigga back, but he coming back, man. I got to wait till he come back to town because I know he busy. I'm here now, though. Man, man, you, hey, man, you you got to tell me about, look, here we go. You got to tell me about uh, uh, just uh, the Houston move from Dallas to Houston. Man, that was a... Uh Man, honestly, man, that move from Dallas to H Town was really just about being closer to family. Okay, okay. I got uh, we, me, me, and my girl, that's closer got, to hometown too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's a little closer um, yeah. to uh, Alto. Yeah. So, um, man, at the time I was here, was broke. Get the hell out no. of here, for real? Broke, man. I had no money, man. But but you still but you all waves. over social yeah. media yeah. and everything. A lot of people be all over social media, but they ain't got no money. They ain't gonna tell the mm. truth. Tell the truth. But I was just in the stages, of just grinding and grinding and grinding. And I figured some things out, and, you know, and gonna uh, make that move. I'm just trying to understand broke because I'm gonna be real My with broke you. Different. Your broke is yeah, different. Yeah, I was about to say. And the reason I say that is because was he broke living in your car, bro? No, no that nigga oh, okay. was not in no car. That nigga working down there at the ice cream, pl- yeah. putting that I ice know, cream in the machine. I know. That's why. <laughs> When I think about broke, I think about you can't pay your bills. She's Jamaica, you she's no Jamaica man. Yeah, I know. I know. No, not, not that type of broke. Not that type of broke. <laughs> okay. Type of broke. Yeah. No, but I just understand how how you made that transition, right? We called, and I was like, dang, man, he done left me. Then I had another nigga. I ain't going to. Well, I'm gonna say it, man. Al D talking about man, you man, Houston where it's at. I'm like, damn, niggas, ooh, they leaving me, man. Man, your show go, you're gonna do crazy in Houston. Yeah, everybody going. I was Houston. like, man, no, nah, man, no. Nah, and it was, see, it's, it had seemed like it was back to back because you moved and Seiko moved and everybody was just, everybody moved. Was moving. Smoothie all, moved. Smoothie, like all everybody the left time. me, man. No, man. <laughs> do you like it down there better? Yeah. Why? Laid back. Dallas I mean, Dallas, Dallas ain't laid back to me. Dallas love. Everywhere I go, I get love. But the H-Town love, it's just different. Different. Like, Dallas, they love me, but they'll rush me. Get aggressively. H-Town, mm. what's up, dude? I see you, baby. <laughs> I like the laid back approach. Because I'm that. growing. And you never know people's intentions. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. So, H-Town is a little bit more laid back flavor for me. Oh, okay. But uh, don't get it twisted. I love Dallas too. Dallas was home too. But uh, I just like H Town, brother, just for security reasons. See, even when you think about it too, because I remember he would always tell me, even with the music, their music was always slower. You know, the screwed up, all of that st- sort of stuff mm-hmm. compared to Dallas, it was always like fast, the boogie and all of that. We want to party. Down there is just more like. Yeah, it's music slow, man. Slow. Everything, the everything. music slow, you know, everything but everything's slow. still the same though. Houston, Dallas, they horses still thin, than a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't shit change. <laughs> and traffic, which one has the worst traffic? Shit, H town traffic. H town traffic worse. Stupid man. No. Yeah, it's stupid. But everything in H town is like 15 minutes away. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, you can't lose either or. I mm. just did. I just did it for family reasons, you know, and security mm. reasons. But well, you know, what we doing? JB, uh, y'all out here? Uh, yeah, I seen you in comedy last time. Yeah, I didn't man. expect you to be on that stage. Yeah, man. A lot of folks don't uh, really be expecting me to see me on stage because I be doing so much stuff. Pretty much making the clothes for my bro Dion Junior. Yeah, I'm I seen that. Things, I, I, videos, I, mean, I love like it, that. man. I yeah. love the energy, man. Last time you killed it up there, man. Oh yeah. So, so uh, y'all, y'all got a show that's coming up uh, tomorrow. Yeah, we got some back to back joints. We got uh, Arlington, then we got Houston the next day. The, oh, the next day. Yeah, the next day. That's dope, man. Yes, so how how is it working with this man, man right here, man? It's a blessing within itself, man. Like I say, uh, just tell the truth. That nigga, I don't, I don't tell me the truth. It's a blessing. <laughs> like, like it's a blessing, man. Like I said, love a little closer to the mic. It's it's a blessing. Uh, didn't expect it how it happened. Came to want to get up with Dion Jim. Like yeah, I know him. I work with him every day. We make these clothes. Hey, Buck, Doug want to get with you. Tell him pull up. Pull up, my nigga. Then it 
every day he kept pulling up and say, I do comedy, man. This is my shit. Uh, shit, I just want to do some shit, man. You know, and it's been like this. Opportunity since. opened the door for you. Since last September, and we've been hitting it ever since. Like Side Me Twin since. Every city we go to, they see him and I ain't there. Man, I was looking for you. Well, you know, I'll be doing other stuff, you know. I'll catch you. Man, that's yeah. dope, man. So how did you first get into comedy? I got to get a little bit of background man. since you pulled up. Wow, it's crazy. I was in the Marine Corps. I served eight years okay. in the Marines. Uh, wow. And uh, I was in L.A. at the mm. MTV pre War parties for my Marines. was like, man, I bet you won't get on stage. I'm like, shit, I ain't got nothing to lose. Got up there. I got booed by some sissies. And it was did crazy, people think man. you were funny before that? A lot of people did, but they didn't seem to think I was funny that night. <laughs> but uh, went back home, Alabama regroup. Uh, got with a group of guys, Mr. Grimes Comedy Crew. We was doing, went viral every month on YouTube, World Star. I had a, a character, No Future, No Band, Two Stains, et cetera, et cetera. And we had a team of guys, and that didn't work out. But I was just going back and forth from Alabama to the improv in Dallas to the open mics off of Greyhound. Sometimes wow. the money be stuck, be with my cousin and stuff like that, trying to get back home and just start developing relationships. Yeah, I'm coming out there tomorrow. I got to come see y'all, yeah, man. We're going to turn up, man. I'm coming. I already done set the tension in pace. Is the show sold out yet? Almost. Almost. Damn Almost. I'm damn sure. Almost. I already Almost. done said I done paid my dibs, didn't we? Mm -hmm. you know, I had to look at her to make sure we did whatever we had. You know who booked it then? <laughs> Boss lady. <laughs> but yeah, we coming in that thing. Had to be sold out during the week because normally people mainly go out during the weekend. I know. So when you can get a sold out show during the week, that's well, crazy and, and, you, and, and you know I put people on the game You know I could bring up here and I done probably done like Six shows in Dallas this year So wow. you know it, it makes it hard When you come back Like that Yeah Because uh, you know um, It just You know how people live I, mean, I just saw them Three months ago And I get it Because normally I want to come back Six months But I just got a new Management team I'm, I got the okay. same manager um, Michael Blackston got now Okay. So, uh, you know. They gonna work, huh? See, that's why I asked you, though. Yeah. That's why I asked you about, you know, if you're gonna have new content. Oh, um, most definitely got to What's that old boy be with him that we had on the show? D. Ellis. D. Ellis. Yeah. Is he there tonight? No, tomorrow? No, no, he ain't no, coming. No, no. I got another well, guy coming. That my nigga, though. I love Who D. Ellis. Shout out to D. Ellis. I got Piper the Chameleon. He tough okay, too. he tough, too. Yeah, Piper tough. I'm not hearing no females. Tough What's up about that? Let me get that? to that, because I got oh, two. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Okay. Well, I got two Who? females. I yeah. got C. Rich from Dallas, and I got Tony G from Mississippi. That's dumb. young protege. I'm yep. trying to bring up. Uh, and they good, of course. They coming on there with in you. The they, they gotta be good. In yeah. game. And then you know Thursday night, I got Keisha Hunt. Nine and eight mm -hmm. Damn, you mm -hmm. know that's one thing. So I you had two shows. Yeah, back and back tonight back, and tomorrow. Back to back, like yeah. the Rockets. Well, tomorrow and, and I mean tomorrow yeah. and Thursday. We're moving like the Beatles. So right? any yeah. show I do now gets to put the world on notice. Any show I do, it's gonna be a female on. Wow. That's good. That's dope. You it, know what would be cool? I'm big on that now. Do anybody do um kids, like, comedy? like? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It got to be. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, you bring up, like, a teenager, like, somebody, like, really young. It was mm -hmm. Lil' J that did that. Did that. Yeah, Lil' J did that. Shout out to Lil' J that yeah. didn't come up that day, nigga. You remember what I'm talking <laughs> about. And, and, and C.J. told you, nigga, that boss talk was the next damn thing. So, no, I'm here. That's my boy. <laughs> CJ and him, they out of Arkansas. Okay. But, you know, you got, like, for people don't know, for most comedians, it take them a year or two years to come up with new material. I constantly come up with new material every show. Wow. So, you know, you might meet some comedians, they might work that same material, what, 10 years? 10 years, they work the same, they say they work the same material. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.